Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and today I am working on some envelopes that you can make um, digitally and I'm using a special thing called Canva. So this is one that I've downloaded. I printed it out. It looks like that on the front and then you can see it has all the flaps on the back. And somebody in one of our groups had asked, does anyone have a digital tutorial? And of course, me never being one to turn down a, an actual challenge, I thought, you know what? I can figure this out. Um, so I've made enough uh, digital kits, kind of, sort of, and I've done enough playing around on, um, you know, with different things. I've made my own envelopes. And so I created this in Canva. So let's get started. This is actually fairly simple. So you're gonna start out by typing in canva.com. And if you don't have an account, you'll need to set yourself up one. Now it says create a design. You can go here or you can go down here where it says custom dimensions. I like to use the custom dimensions over something that they already have, a template, because we're just gonna start with a blank page. So create a design, we're gonna do custom dimensions. Right here where it says PX, if you click on that, you get inches, millimeters, centimeters. So whatever works best for your country, that's what you wanna use. I'm going to use inches. And I'm turning this paper, um, what is that called, landscape instead of portrait. But again, you could probably do this either way because you're going to use a square. So I'm going to say 11 inches wide and 8.5 inches high. Create design. So now we'll have a blank sheet of paper right here. And what you want to do is come over here to where it says elements and you're gonna click on that. Now, because I've recently used a bunch of them, uh, it makes it pretty easy, but I'm just gonna go down here to shapes. You wanna pick a square. So to make this envelope, we're going to use a square, and I will tell you, you want to use a square because it will fit better on the paper and you'll get a good envelope. However, remember that your envelope now is diagonal so the actual part of the envelope is going to be diagonal and these are your flaps. So what you want to do next is go down here and it says lines and just pick lines. You just want a plain basic line. So I'm going to make this a lot wider but then we want to make this very very narrow. I want to make it as small kind of as I can. So that's now a very small line. And right now, because we're down here at 55%, I'm gonna make this bigger so we can zoom in on this. So I'm gonna go up to 100%. Now I can make this line longer again. And what you wanna do is turn, this rotates it and this moves it around. So this, I can grab this and move this wherever I want and this turns it and so you want to turn it and you'll see down here you've got percentages you want to go to 45 percent let's see if we can make it work 45 percent so now you're exactly 45 percent let's make this a little bit smaller let's go back down to 50 percent and let's make that 75 there you go so we're going to make this 75 we're going to grab this and we're going to pick kind of a spot. This is where I don't have a good way to make this an exact science, if you will, because I don't know how to create inches. If I had inches on the side, it would make this a lot easier. Uh, but I don't have those. And here's the other thing. Let's make this white instead of this light gray. So document colors. White is one of the options, so now it's white. Now we want to come up here where it says duplicate, and we're going to just duplicate this exact same one, and we're going to go up here about where we kind of sort of think we want it. Now, we're going to take, this is all going to get adjusted, so don't panic yet. We want to duplicate that line again. We're now going to turn it to the 40, positive 45, 
and this can be tricky, but there we go. And now we're going to line this up over here. And what you want is you want this little triangle in here that's going to get cut out. So what I can see is I need to move this one down because you want your triangles to all be the same size. So now that looks a little bit better. So we have this one, it's already in the right one. We're gonna duplicate it one more time and we're going to bring it down here and try to make our triangles all about the same size. So this is actually your envelope and when you print it out, you're going to cut these triangles out and I'm going to show it to you on here. So I use, actually this is the wrong one. That was one I was playing with earlier but all my ink tanks had run out and I needed to replace them. So if you look on here, you can see here is, it's actually this direction. This is your envelope and these are the little triangle parts that you're going to cut out. Uh, those may be too big for you. So one of the things you may have to do is run a couple of different copies to make sure you get everything where you want it. But by doing it that way, then everything will line up for your envelope. Now let's say you wanna add a uh, something, a design on here. And I think what I use, there's all kinds of different free things in here if you want. Um, there's stickers, there's gradients, bold foliage, simple drawn rustic, lots of free stuff. Let's pick, let's just pick that flower. So, just a reminder that you want to rotate this again to the 45 degree angle so that it is even now. The other thing that's fun is we can now change the background. We, maybe we don't want the gray. Let's pick a different color and let's go with, let's pick this color. Now, now the flower disappears, so I wanna make this lighter. So I am gonna just pull this down till I get the color I like. Oh, I like that color. So now we've got all these colors that match. And now you actually have an envelope that you can print out and cut out. So that's really quick and easy, but let's say you want a pattern envelope and you have a pattern that you like. Let me just show you what you can do for that as well. Um, we're going to go to frames. Well, actually I use grids because it's got a square grid. And what you're gonna see here is that, um, let's take this down to 50% again. What you're going to see is that you have this. And th what's nice about this is you can make it whatever, you can adjust the size of this. So I wanna make it, let's make it eight by eight. So that is eight inches. No, let's not make it eight by eight. Let's make it seven by seven. I'm going the wrong way. So you can see that the width is seven inches and six and a half inches tight, tall. We want it to be a perfect square. So now I can just move that. Now it's smack in the middle. And you saw those grid lines come up. Then I'm gonna go over here and down here we have uploads. And I have a bunch of uploads that I have that are um, from the graphics fairy. So I'm gonna go over here and grab end papers and we'll just pick this end paper. We're going to upload that. Now I have very slow country um, internet. So let's see how quickly we can get this to upload. And you can see right here it's uploading and you can see right here is also an upload bar. So once this fills up, and this is kind of fun, if you have slow internet, sometimes there's a submarine or a duck that will go across there. They're kind of funny. So we're just gonna wait for that to upload. I may scroll through here and see if I have any other uploads that I can use. I don't think I do. You can see a lot of my uploads, but, and some of this stuff I've uploaded because I resized it for various different journals. I like to do that. So it looks like, I'm trying to see if I have something. 
that's washi tape I created at one point using Canva. So if you'd love to see a, something on how to do washi tape like that, let me know. I am more than happy to do some kind of a tutorial on that as well. Just trying to see, I'm trying to see if I have something that's already uploaded because this is taking forever. And I know at one point I did. And that's one of the things I love is Canva is really, really easy to use. You know what? Uh, no, that's not what I want. Um, yeah, let's just keep going here. Let's see if we can find anything that will work. Because that, it looks like it's stuck trying to upload. And now we're getting into my pageant stuff. You can see I've got a lot of pageant stuff in here from back in the old days. Let's go down here. Let's do this. Let's see. I think I saw some coloring page things. Let's do that. So I don't think that worked. So let's try this again. You actually want to grab it and drag it. And then it goes in there. So now you can see that I have my actual image is that size. And then you're simply going to do the exact same thing again. You're going to create your lines and make your square. Now, if you wanted this to be more rectangular, I would say you can pull these up and then pull these out. Whoops, not trying to move these. Sometimes I grab the wrong thing. There we go. And now you can see if we do this, uh, we pulled this one too far. Let's pull it back in. And you can go like this and now you have more of a rectangle. And I would rotate this again because what you're looking at now is these are your two long flaps, these are your two side flaps. So you can adjust this to make it any size that you want. And I think that's the important thing is play around till you get the size that you want. And then you can go ahead and print it out and see if that size envelope will work for you. This one I did a little bit more square, but like I said, by moving things around, you can actually make things a little bit, um, you know, a longer and more narrow one. So have fun playing with that. I hope you enjoyed this very simple tutorial on how to make a quick and easy envelope using a digital uh, space like Canva. This is free. I'm using the free version. You can get the professional version, but this is the free version. So I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope I've inspired you to be creative today. All right, so I'm back. My camera had stopped on me and so I just spliced these two videos together. A couple of other things I wanted to show you how to do with this um, template. So we got it to this point and all I'm doing is I'm going to take out in the corners, these four corners, some of that white or some of the pink. So now if you want to cut it out, it will make it easier. So we're gonna go back over to elements and you're going to, uh, if you go down here to shapes, I'll show you where to find it. You want this triangle, it looks like half of a square, and that is the one that we want. So I'm going to just start at the top. We want this at 45 degrees, and we're gonna make this much smaller. It doesn't have to be hugely small, but we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to take this back up to 100% so that I can make sure I get this lined up perfectly and what you'll see is you can get it really close, but you can't quite get it there. So what I'm using now is these arrows. So you have arrows on your keyboard and you can use those to just move that to the left. Oop, hold on, my keyboard went to sleep. Let me wake it up, wake it up again. There it is, all right. So now it's awake again and we're just going to move that over ever so slightly. Perfect, and we're gonna leave that there. Now, we're gonna simply duplicate this, and we're going to take it 
whoops okay so there's this awesome undo button right here and that undoes that and so should be able to grab the whole thing we're going to go down over here we're going to rotate this again to that 45 degree mark and we're going to pop that right in to this and it looks like we were able to get that on the first try which is nice because it that usually doesn't happen so now we want to make another copy duplicate and we're going to take it down here to the bottom we're going to rotate it around again to that oh this doesn't work it's i think it's 136 somewhere in 36 35 37 uh, there we are okay so now we're down here on the bottom and we're going to just pop that one on the bottom that looks pretty good and we're going to duplicate that one last time and drag that up into this corner now we're going to turn that again and pop that right in there all right so now we have our little gray pieces actually i don't think this is quite right hang on i think we were close but not quite there 35 30. there we go <laughs> okay so and i'm going to just move that forward a tiny hair's breadth and down just a tiny hair's breadth so now it's in there and it looks about right. Yep. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to take this back down so you can see what I'm doing. Let's take this all the way down to 50%. So now what we're going to do is go around and make all of these whites. So I clicked on that. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on the white. And we're just going to go around and click on that white for all of them. And now you have your little cutouts. You can see that um, you've got your lines to follow on. Now let's say you don't like the size of this. I'm going to just show you how to resize this. So if you were to just resize the square, the white parts would disappear or be in the wrong places. So I am going to remove this flower because I don't want that as part of my duplication process because I'm going to duplicate this as a um, template. So all you do is you left click where your pointer is and then you drag it over top of everything. And now you see right here you have this group button and you can click on that and now when I go to resize it, see how it all stays as one thing. So now, you, let's say you wanted to do two on this piece of paper. So then we hit duplicate and we just take the second one over here. So now you can resize them and then you can even go in and change the colors. If you don't like that color, let's say we want to make this one purple. So now we can make this one purple. So now you actually have a template. If you like this size and you want to keep this, you actually can keep this template um, and store, and it will store in Canva for you and you can change it and make it all different colors. Now you can't change the actual background. If you wanted to, to do that, you need to use this one that you will have already created into this sort of thing. So if you wanted to upload different patterns for your envelopes. I would recommend you do them in this kind of a style or do one of each. So I hope that, again, that this tutorial makes sense. If you have questions, ask them below. And I hope I've encouraged you to be creative today.